Hello everyone, my name is Christopher, and I will show you a quick walkthrough of how you can use Google Analytics to track the viewing activity of your Smart Slide slideshows. Google Analytics is the best web page tracking tool available, and is used by millions of people around the world. It's completely free, and although it can look intimidating at first, it's actually pretty easy to use. Let's take a look at how it works. To get started, go to google.com slash analytics. Select Sign In at the top, and choose Analytics. Here, sign into your Google account, or choose to create an account if you don't have one yet. Once logged in, you will need to create a new property for your account, specifically for Smart Slides. You can do that by clicking on Admin at the bottom left of the page. Select the drop-down menu under the Property tab, and choose to create a new property. The website URL field should contain your Smart Slides URL display name, or your account's custom domain instead if you have set it up. You can find your Smart Slides URL display name by going to Preferences in Smart Slides and clicking on the Domain tab. In this example, the URL display name is Bob Jones Photo, which means that back in Google Analytics, we will need to enter Bob Jones Photo.SmartSlides.com. Finish setting up the property and click on Get Tracking ID at the bottom. Google Analytics will then provide you with a unique tracking ID number, which is what you'll need to connect Smart Slides. Copy this ID and open your Smart Slides account. In Preferences, open on the Analytics section and paste the Google Analytics tracking ID. That's it! Google Analytics is now tracking your published slideshow views. You may need to wait a few hours or days for Google Analytics to accumulate some data as your slideshows are watched. Now that your slideshows are being tracked, let's see what kind of data we can find in Google Analytics. On the left side, you'll see the main panel with several reports. Real-time activity about your slideshows, information about your viewers, how they arrived to your slideshows, and how they're interacting with your slideshows. Okay, let's take a brief look at each report together. The real-time section monitors activity as it happens right now. This means that you can see the total number of people that are watching your slideshows at this exact moment, and how many viewers are there for each individual slideshow. As we exit the real-time report, it's important to note that the data for the other reports will be for the specified date range at the top. And you can always change the date if you need to. For example, Perhaps you want to see data for last month, for last week, for today, etc. The audience report answers the question, who is watching your slideshows? You can see things like total number of people that viewed your slideshows, or what time your viewers were most active. You can also dig deeper and see what else you can learn about your viewers. For example, one of the most interesting graphs is the location section, where you'll see exactly where your viewers are from. With the acquisition report, you can see exactly what channels are driving viewers to your slideshows. For example, the social channel represents how many viewers came from social media, such as Facebook, which is a great indicator of how viral your slideshows are. The behavior report lets you know how your viewers are interacting with your slideshows. You can see things like the number of total visits to slideshows, and which slideshows are being watched the most. You can also click on each specific slideshow to see more information about how it's performing. I hope this quick walkthrough of how Google Analytics works with Smart Slides has been helpful. If you have any questions about this video, please reach out to us via our live chat feature within Smart Slides or email us at support at smartslides.com.